Hey there, I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of How to Paint Like a Feminist. Oh, I bet you're asking yourself right now, well, hey John, where have you been? Well, I accidentally got stranded overseas because I was trying to come home and didn't have a vaccine passport, so I, I did the most common sense approach thing to get back into America and I moved down to Mexico and snuck into the southern border. Which is kind of funny or ironic if you think about it because the, the Biden administration is dropping the ball on the southern border harder than Kobe. Oh, wait a second. I forgot, we can't joke about stuff like that because the PC police on the left liberal side are gonna come after us because apparently we can't joke and if you piss off the alphabet mob, well, it doesn't even matter if you're black these days, they're still gonna come after you. Move over, Dave Chappelle. So I'm gonna have my handy dandy producer run the colors across the screen. We're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna have some Pete Buttigieg pink, some socialist red, we're gonna have some let's go Brandon blue and we have a color called raw sienna. I have no idea what the hell that even is, but it looks like diarrhea, so we're just gonna call that the Biden administration. Buckle up. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our Let's Go Brandon Blue. We're gonna need a lot of it here, because there's just a lot of people that really like that Let's Go Brandon Blue, to include people on the blue side, which is really weird. You have to think when you have an approval rating in the mid-30s that, man, you're really screwing things up. Good job, Democrats. You elected Mr. Magoo. <laughs> but he doesn't know what he's, he's doing. At all. Like, even a little bit. He just sniffs children and eats mint chocolate chip ice cream and then walks away at random press conferences. Who does that? Weird. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Take this Let's Go Brandon Blue, and we're gonna cover all this white canvas. And don't forget, just like every painting, we have to start with a nice clear coat of white privilege because we know that triggers the left. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Just spread all that Let's Go Brandon Blue all over that canvas. It's kind of interesting how a reporter will sit there at a NASCAR event interviewing a young driver, and in the background, the entire crowd is chanting, fuck Joe Biden, and yet in her ears, she heard, let's go Brandon. Even Helen Keller could have told you that was a line of bullshit. <laughs> Weird. I also find it kind of funny that you have Congresswoman Sienna Miller out there being harassed by her own side for being against this reconciliation plan that essentially is supposed to be three something trillion dollars that's gonna be free. I don't understand how someone's mind works when they still use the word free and think that exists in the economic world. It doesn't. Somebody's paying for it. But you know who's paying for it? the top percentile that pays 40% of taxes in America. So you know what they're gonna do when it comes to economics? Well, your own peppermint patty, I'm excuse me, Jen Psaki even said, inflation is unfair. The fact that these, these businesses are raising cost of goods to produce, that's not right. Well, hey Jen, that's how it works. You would know that if you knew Economics 101. But the fact is, you troglodytes up there in the White House have no idea what you're doing. It's like, you're just sitting behind this control panel, shitting on yourself and pushing buttons. And damn the results. We'll just see what happens. But hey, at least we don't have mean tweets anymore. <laughs> you people are retarded. And if you do happen to have a, a difference of opinion or a different view on this reconciliation bill, and I don't even know why they call it a reconciliation bill because we're not reconciling with anything, but you could be like, you know, Representative Kristen Cinema and be harassed when you're trying to take a shit. That makes sense to me. <laughs> Then again, the leftists always like using violence to resort to pushing their point across. We saw it with the BLM riots, we see it with Antifa, and yet they have the audacity to talk about January 6th rioters being domestic terrorists, yet you don't say a single word about all the millions and millions of damage that was done to black-owned businesses by white liberals. Not a peep. Not a word. Your silence is deafening, and so is your hypocrisy. I know a lot of you are expecting me to talk about the you know, the virus that's going around, but apparently YouTube has now said that if you talk about anything related to COVID and it's inaccurate, it's gonna be pulled down because it's medical misinformation. So I guess once this whole Orwellian thing is over, we'll just circle back around to that topic years down the road. We come to find out that Fauci was lying. $600,000 a year to be full of shit. I need that job. Or I could just sell art like crackhead under Biden. Whatevs. No idea what I'm doing. I'm just flinging it out there, kind of like this administration, just poking in the dark, 
no idea what's gonna happen. All this blue here just reminds me of a, a gigantic ocean and if you take a second, you just kind of use your mind's eye, you can probably see at least over 200,000 shipping containers on 66 different ships stranded out there at the, the port of LA just waiting to come on in. But Pete Buttigieg is home with his boy toy. You just pooped out two twins and he's AWOL. Weird. But hey, the fact that he's gay, can't say anything about that because he'll come after you and accuse you like he did Tucker Carlson of not understanding the complexities of bottle feeding. You take the formula, you put it in the water, you shake it, and you stick it in your future mentally disturbed child's mouth. It's just that easy. So easy that even a homosexual can do it, Pete. And I know many gay people that look at you like you're just flat out retarded. Don't try and use your sexuality as a means of defending yourself for being absent in an issue that is partially your responsibility. Well, actually not partially, it's all. You're kind of the secretary of transportation and you're not there. Weird, but it's okay, because he's gay, he gets a pass. Talk about equality and not favoritism. Oh boy, I just pissed off the alphabet mob. I know what I'll do. I'll go dress in drag and tell a story at a local library to little children about what it means to be sexually active as a, a man wanting to be a woman, and I'll be perfectly accepted and forgiven at that point. Our holy gay father that art in hell, oh, excuse me, wrong person. <laughs> I was praying like a leftist there for a second. <laughs> but it's okay, you don't believe in it. Oh man, speaking of gaying everything up, now Superman apparently is bisexual, or his son is, or one of the two. I don't know, faster than a queer eye for a straight guy. Up, up, and a gay. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and use some Pete Buttigieg pink. Gotta get that on that canvas right there. You know, Pete's all in the news trying to defend himself and his actions, trying to use his sexuality as a defense. But you know what's not in the news? Well, not big time in the MSM. When that trans boy raped that girl in that school, nobody touched it, and the school board even tried to cover it up. Then the father got upset and approached them about it, and then they rode the Biden administration trying to get him branded as a domestic terrorist. And now the FBI is investigating. Hey, forget about the Las Vegas shooting. Forget about all these things the FBI was supposed to investigate. This takes priority. The father of a raped daughter of a trans boy, they're not gonna touch that. Because if they do, they know damn good and well they're going to get branded as homophobic for holding a trans boy to the same standards you would a straight boy. That's ridiculous and you know it. And that's hypocrisy. That's not equality. That's favoritism. And by the way, abolish the FBI. Oh, easy Republicans. I know that's going to trigger you. The fact that the thin blue line is getting a little blurred when you have a government that's wielding so much political authority and weaponizing these agencies, these three-letter agencies, you know it's wrong. And you know it's not what freedom and liberty is all about. And by the way, now they're wanting to look into our bank accounts and we have purchases of roughly $600 or more to prevent fraud. Explain this to me then. You tell me that I have to pay you a certain percentile of my money every year, but you're not gonna tell me how much, but if I don't get it right, I go to jail? And then you're gonna investigate every single transaction I have, but yet you're still not gonna tell me how much I owe? What sense does that make? This isn't freedom. This is the furthest thing from it. The FBI, the ATF, the IRS, all of them. Defund them. Defund them. So how about we go ahead and talk about that southern border down there that you had over 14,000 Haitian immigrants just came on over the illegal way and they were welcomed right in with open arms. Vetting process, according to immigration down there, said it took roughly 20 minutes per person. Hey, did you rape anybody? No, come on in. Don't ask them about murder though. <laughs> Where's Kamala Harris been these last few months, you know? She's been kind of AWOL. Joe Biden says that she's gonna head up that southern border operation. The first thing she does is goes to Vietnam. Am I a one aware of the fact that we have a illegal Vietnamese issue at this southern border? Okay. It's pretty incredible to see how quickly this country is collapsing under Democrat control, but again, at least it's not Trump. <laughs> you don't mind paying higher gas prices and the cost of lumber and cost of goods is going up. We have inflation coming here soon at record numbers. The housing market's about to burst, but again, at least he's not tweeting mean things. You're okay with that. But then, and again, half of you want to be in bread lines anyway, because, you know, in your opinion, that's a great way to socialize and build a community. <laughs> oh, all 
all this blue. You know what it reminds me of as well? The blue check marks on Twitter. And speaking of Twitter, you know who still has a Twitter account? The Taliban. But President Trump doesn't. One has actually killed and murdered millions of people, to include homosexuals, and yet they still are allowed a presence on Twitter. But President Trump isn't. Oh, I forgot. We're not supposed to talk about that botched Afghanistan withdrawal that left 13 servicemen and women dead, or the 10 that were killed in a drone strike that they completely botched and killed seven children. Oh, I forgot. We're not supposed to talk about that either. And that's right, you Democrats have been really quiet about that. But again, no more mean tweets. Am I right? I'm with her. Got a lot of people writing me and saying, Hey, John, what do you be dressing as for Halloween? Well, I figured I'd go ahead and dress up as a, a brain-dead zombie and call myself a Democrat. Huh, now I bet a lot of you are thinking I'm probably going to paint my team under there for a Let's Go Team. And speaking of teams, we talk about transgenders wanting to play teams. What about that Special Forces transgender man-turned-woman that beat the brakes off that other fellow woman? Man, you were singing his praise or her praises out there during that fight. You legitimately endorsed a man beating the shit out of a woman. What do you say to that? <laughs> Men are better at being women than women are. <sighs> I would cry, but I just have to laugh, otherwise I'd kill myself. All those people out there that were talking about Trump going out there and getting a physical and saying he's not mentally or physically fit to lead the people and yada, yada, yada. And yet you sit there and you say nothing about a senile old man showcasing signs of dementia. But hey, he's perfectly fine because you don't want to be wrong and have to admit that you voted for a guy that doesn't know what the hell he's doing half the time or even what pants he's wearing or what color shirt or who the hell really ties his shoes. Who's really running this thing, Obama? <laughs> Weird. And you know, according to Democrat standards out there with the Biden screw up Afghanistan and getting people killed, in the Democratic world, that's gonna get him nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Why not? Obama got one and he drone striked more people than Trump did. <laughs> I forgot, we don't talk about that either. Sorry, YouTube, don't ban me. Don't demonetize me, I need the money. Then you got Lori Lightfoot out there at a WNBA game checking out the local talent without a mask. And you know, she was doing more than checking out the local talent. She was looking for that side piece, and God love her, she would have to find a woman because no man is going to stick his dick in that thing. Beetlejuice looking motherfucker. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Mask mandates, ignoring them, doesn't matter. It's all make-believe. <laughs> and you got people out there like, you know, failed actor John Leguizamo talking about that it's not right that the new Mario Brothers has all white people, even though it doesn't. And that John Leguizamo himself is also from another minority group, and he's complaining about this. It's almost as if they just want white people out of the picture altogether. Oh, and I forgot to say, happy Christopher Columbus Day. I know that pisses off the Native Americans because they were here first, but technically they weren't. They just got their asses beat because they just weren't as strong as the Europeans. That's the way the world works. So please, those that are offended by this, find me this utopia that exists without expansionism. It doesn't. So take your feelings and go fuck yourself. You got beat. And by the way, I'm part Native American, but even I think you're full of shit. Whatever happened to Elizabeth Warren? She's a hiding, she's a hiding, full of shit, squats when peas. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry, that was culturally inappropriate. My bad. All right, I think that's good right there. Oh, I forgot the N. The word that we can't say as white people, but black people can in hip hop songs. I forgot about that. But if you say it with, a, with an A instead of a hard R, you're okay. Because that makes all the sense in we gonna squeeze that in right down here in the side. There we go. Nice and tight. Beautiful little N. There we go. All right, now we're gonna mix in some socialist red. Not a whole, whole lot because socialism usually doesn't last that long or it doesn't really promote growth. And speaking of known socialists, Hassan Piker, little Zoomer extraordinaire out there promoting socialism, just bought a $3 million house in California. You gotta love these socialists, really aren't socialists at heart. They use capitalistic means to simp themselves as if they're trying to represent the people for financial equality. But as soon as they make it big, whew, boy, 
They're out there wearing dresses at these New York gala met things for $35,000 of tickets trying to make these bold statements of tax the rich. The rich don't give a damn about you or your opinion. They're okay on their own. So great job, Hassan. Great job, AOC. You just made yourselves look stupid, as per usual. Well, you're probably sitting there saying if you're a Democrat or a liberal watching this video saying, John, you have no idea what you're painting or talking about for that matter. And I'll say, it's kind of like what this administration's doing right now too. It's like a monkey fucking a football. No clue what's going on. So our last color right here, we're gonna use this raw sienna. Not a whole, whole lot, just a little bit for a little a little texture to the painting that I like to like to add every so often. It's a little, little sneaky sneaky for you. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a little bit of this brown and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a nice thriving economy and country, things are going really well. We're really regaining a, a good foot on the international stage. And we're gonna take this brown little color and we're just gonna, just gonna shit all over it. That's right, just gonna shit all over that economy. There we go. Oh yeah, because we have stupid people out there and, and minor percentiles and they wanna dictate how the country is run yet they have no idea about what the fuck they're talking about. Realistically, they don't know shit about fuck. But here we are, let's just take it, just shit all over it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Just all over it. A big dookie butter. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, the nice reveal. Let's take a little bit of vaccine dust. Ah, oh, yeah, this guy. What can you say? COVID's taking out the wrong people. Hey there. If you'd like to buy this painting, you can visit shellshockcbd.com and purchase it there. And also, make sure you check out my Telegram chat room where you can share memes and you won't be banned or censored. We have a very big growing community down there. It's a good fun time. The link's down below in the description. And also, we have something that you personally ask for from Shellshock CBD. Happy little drops. Flavored like chocolate almonds or chocolate coconut. Either way, I don't know. It's gross. But you wanted it, so it's here links down below.